Are you a freelancer, consultant or agency providing services to Amazon sellers? Big changes are coming. How you access Amazon seller central accounts? Amazon is shifting from secondary user permission to the solution provider portal which is called SPP. And if you don't register by June 30th, so you could lose access. In this video, I will walk through why this is so important what's changing and step-by-step -step instructions on how to register as a service provider so you don't get left behind. Before we get into the steps, let's talk about why this is such a big deal. SPP are Amazon's new system for granting third-party access to the seller accounts, whether you are a PPC manager, consultant, VA, or an agency. So this is now the official method to gaining approved access to seller accounts. Amazon is tightening security to protect sellers data. Under the old system, sellers could grant secondary user permissions which created risks of unauthorized access and data breaches. But with SPP, only verified service providers can access seller accounts. Amazon will track and monitor who has access and why. Unauthorized users will be flagged for abuse which could lead to the account suspension so if you register you will have the official access and professional profile on amazon service provider network which is called spn where the sellers can find you if you don't register you will lose access to clients accounts and any attempt to bypass the system uh, could lead the account restriction for you and your client so let's make sure you get registered the right way Step number one is log into your seller central account using your email and password and go to Amazon solution provider portal which is solution provider portal.amazon.com. So the step number two is if you are already registered on the portal you don't need to log in again. If you are not registered then simply click the registered button. So step number three is we need to read uh, to know a few things before we proceed to the SPP account setup. So we will need to cover uh, first three options uh, right for SSP account setup. So number one is existing SPP account holders. Uh, two is service provider central SP central. So number three is solution provider employee. So if you are an employee of a, a solution provider right so remaining <clears throat> two options are for those who are registered in service provider network spn you can skip these two steps the last two steps if you are already registered on spn if you are not registered on spn then you need to watch my another video on my youtube channel how you register for spn once you have done hit acknowledge and continue the button so step number four in this step you need to select your global account if you have from the drop down option if not so you can create new account button and hit it the step number five in case you have already an account so select your global account from the drop down menu and hit enroll and finish the button if not create a new account step number six is once enrolled you will be redirected to another window within few seconds in this new window you will see solution type setup where you must choose between the next step which is salmon is you need to select solution type right so if you are building an api app or developer mode you need to select the first or if not you need to select the second option which is offer services so the step number eight check your desired option and click apply step number nine is once you select the solution type and then this process will take a couple of seconds and then it will redirect to your home page step 10 after applying you will be redirected to a new window where you need to verify your identity or business registration information so amazon will require you to submit the necessary documents for verification like business registration info and identity documents step number 11 in this step amazon will ask you what documents you will need in order to verify your identity and business information like valid id recent bank or credit card statements business license if needed step number 12 
in this step you must provide your business detail including business location business type complete business name as registered with your state or federal government so confirm your business detail by selecting the check mark option in at the end of the page step number 13 in this step as shown on how provide your name citizenship country of birth and other require information to verify your identity make sure the valid phone number for verification so the next step is you will need to review and confirm your business and contact information as shown in the screenshot you will also be required to upload the front and back of your driving license so the last step is Amazon will verify your identity via video call for identity verification process you will need number first a computer or mobile device with a front-facing camera a compatible browser which is Chrome Safari or the latest version so number three is a valid original government issued photo ID for proof of address and you must upload your bank statement when Amazon verifies you through a video call, you will need to proceed with these final steps to complete your setup successfully. So step number one is assign service provider roles. Select the appropriate service provider roles based on your service category. Choose from and then view, edit or admin for each role. So click save changes and then submit and confirm your submission. After that, you must wait for approval uh, before making any edits. While your service related permissions are under the view, you won't be able to add new service. You can check the status and detail in the support case section. So stay tuned for further instructions. Case updates will be sent to the admin email on the file. Uh, if Amazon requests additional information, make sure to respond with in five days to avoid case closure. So step number two, monitor your request status, log into SPP using your credential and following the instructions in the service related permissions are under the view banner the banner will update as your request status changes so click view current status and detail in the support section so the next thing is to review all the support cases uh, you should go to the uh, support case log and all so select the case and click view so the last and step three is list your service in the service provider network which is called spn once amazon approves your spp service provider profile your you must list your service in the service provider network spn for this i have a complete video for spn you can check it on my youtube channel this was the complete method to get registered on SPP. But if you are wondering how to list your services in the Amazon service provider network, which is called SPN and attract more sellers, we have got you covered. Check out our full step-by-step -step guide on our YouTube channel and don't wait until 30th June. Register now to ensure uninterrupted access and want to level up your business. Check out our other videos where we share expert tips to help you grow faster. If you have any question or need any help, drop them in the comments. Our team or me is here to guide you through all the processes. Thank you.